And here's another example. Approximately 70% of statistics students do their homework in time for it to be collected and graded. Each student does homework independently. In a statistics class of 50 students, what's the probability that at least 40 will do their homework on time? Students are selected randomly. A says this is a binomial problem because there is only a success or a failure. There are a fixed number of trials and the probability of a success is 70% for each tri trial. B, if we were interested in the number of students who do their homework on time, then how do we define x? x, the number of statistics students who do their homework on time. So what do value does the lowercase x take on? Well, it takes on 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 50 because we have 50 students total. What is a failure in words? So in this scenario, a failure is a student who doesn't complete their homework on time. E says, if p plus q equals 1, then what's q? So this is easy to do because we know that p equals the probability of a success equals 70%. And all we have to do is p plus q equals to 1. So we know that p is 0 0.70. And we can do 1 minus. 0 0.70 and we are left with 30. So Q is 0 0.30 or 30%. Then lastly, the words at least translate as what kind of inequality for the probability question, probability of X blank 40. So at least means uh, greater than or equal to. And we represent that with, looks like this, but it's underlined. There we go. So then we would write this, uh, we would write this, the probability. X. Okay, so here we would put the probability of X is greater than or equal to 40, or we could say at least 40.